During the last lesson, you practiced opening a solid piece of clay while focusing on compact posture, hand positions, and pressure. During this lesson, you will add two new skills, expanding the diameter of the opened clay and compressing the exposed interior of the base. Your goal is to expand the diameter of the wall while maintaining the symmetry and a flat, even base. Start this exercise by centering your clay. Part of your success with this exercise depends upon compact posture. Is your body touching the splash pan? Are both feet flat on the floor? Are your eyes over the center of the wheel? Are your arms on your body? Continue to develop the good habit of maintaining compact posture to give you more control as you move and shape the clay on the wheel. Next, form the throwing hump by coning up your centered clay. Throwing off the hump will allow you to practice your hand positions, pressure, and movements multiple times. Form the knob that you will open and expand. Use the side of your thumb to establish the base of the knob. Gently squeeze your middle finger over the line. Use your thumb to help you center the knob. Open the clay. Use the side or back of your thumb at three o'clock to find and feel the center of the clay knob. Don't forget to support your hand or thumb as you find and firmly push through the center of the clay. Now you are ready to expand the diameter and compress the base of your form. Add water to the opening. Use your index and middle fingers while you keep your wrist down and relaxed. Keep your fingers level with the wheel head as you stretch the clay outward. Gently use your finger pads to smooth and compress the exposed base. Then gently remove water with your sponge. Finally, remove the form from the hump with the rib. Cone up the remaining clay and repeat the steps until you run out of clay. This exercise will help you create muscle memory. Focus on your fine motor skills as you practice your hand positions, movements, and pressure. Let's look at this process at another angle. My left hand is closest to you, while my right hand is farther away. Try to mimic the hand positions as you watch the video.
Don't be forgetful like I was here. I forgot to remove the water with my sponge. Allowing water to sit on the bottom of your projects will cause cracks later on during the drying process. If you are having a difficult time centering or even keeping your clay centered, there may be one of several causes. Your clay may not have been wedged well. Take the extra time to break up and mix hard and soft spots or to pop air bubbles while you wedge. You will have more control if your clay is the same texture throughout and it has no air bubbles. It only takes one little air bubble or one hard chunk of clay to bump your hand off center. Another cause might be you're abruptly moving your hands onto or away from the clay. Use gentle, smooth movements with your hands. Another cause is clay that's too dry. Add water so that your fingers don't drag your clay off center. Finally, check your posture. Is it compact so that you have control over the clay? Let's take a look at the process from one more angle. Remember, as you move from one step to the next, you are always supporting your working hand with your non-working hand. The support will give you more control and stability as you shape the clay with your hands and fingertips. Notice as I begin to expand the diameter, the only fingers that are applying pressure on the clay are the pointer and index finger. The thumb is moved out of the way. Repeat the process until you run out of clay. Remember, as you expand the diameter, keep the movement of your fingers parallel with the wheel head. Don't move your fingers upwards or downwards. Move them straight across to create a flat base. As you repeat the process, work towards being more consistent in creating a symmetrical form with a flat base. Get to wheeling!